In this video, we will go over the AI automatic detection feature in CaseGuard. First, let's go ahead and add a file to our project. Now that we've added a file, we can select the AI detection icon in the video section of the toolbar, which is this smiley face here. In this window, we can select one or more items for the software to detect and redact. Faces and heads will redact just the face of an individual. Screens will redact any screen such as in-car laptops, classroom monitors, or phone screens. License plates. Papers can be notebooks that students are writing on, medical charts, or a piece of paper that an officer is writing information on. People and vehicles will redact the entire person or car. Checks and credit cards are more intended for documents but can be run on video as well. And we also have signatures. I'll go ahead and select faces and license plates. Here we can select the shape and effect for faces. The default shape for faces is ellipse but can always be changed. And for the effects, I will select blur. From this level bar, we can increase or decrease the intensity of the redaction. Right now, we have standard redaction selected which will redact anything behind the redaction box. The reverse will redact everything but the selected area, and the full frame will redact everything in the frame. We can also add a redaction reason to all the faces being redacted from the drop down menu, or click the plus sign to add a new one if we do not see one that fits our case. And let's select our settings for license plates. Now we can select to have the software run on the entire file or a selected range. It's best to use the selected range option on longer videos where you only need to run the redactions on the first few minutes of the video. You can choose the start and end time from the play bar of the preview or enter the exact start and end frame or the exact start and end time for your file. For this video, I will select the whole file. In this audio section, we can add a mute, bleep, or change voice effect to the entire audio of our file, as well as give a redaction reason. Keep in mind, this is only an option to mute or bleep the whole video if this is what you need. For the classify results checkbox, you can keep it checked if you need to unredact any person or object. Otherwise, you can uncheck it and all similar objects will be grouped together, such as all heads, and the software will run about 70% faster. You can check this box if your file is a 360 drone footage or 4K 8K video. The confidence percentage is set to 20%, but you can lower this for dark environment videos so that the software can redact more objects. But if you are getting too many false positives, you can always increase this to at least 25% for the software to be more accurate. We also have the option to schedule this task for a later time if it is a larger file and you want to continue working on your machine. We can have it scheduled so that it starts once we leave the office and it will be done by the next morning. We can save these settings as a template so we don't have to go through these steps again for similar files. And apply. The system is now going through the file and detecting all faces and license plates. Let's take a look at our redactions in different view modes. Our default view mode is the edit mode we are currently in. The edit view mode makes our redactions transparent. The preview mode shows what the exported file will look like. Let's go ahead and export our video. Let's watch our exported file. We can also take a look at the exemption log, which has the redaction timestamp, file type, 
material withheld, as well as a brief explanation and the legal and statutory basis. In the next video, we will go over the Objects Detection Panel and how to unredact items.